super bad placement that TI would be flaming this draft right now. <laughs> That's how I feel. But I mean, it also sounds like you're talking about rim of the lane. But now it's going to start pushing more into LFY's favor, and this is where it gets harder and harder for KP now. Top lane, in flame. Getting a lot of experience here, good levels, and... Uh... Super's getting pressured really hard mid, level 3 on the Shadow Fiend, getting the raise combo, all three hitting perfectly by SCCC. Has the Cell there as well, ready to get back up. Cell will be cancelled by Arfu. They have a, I mean, they're, they have a clear-cut game plan, you know, with the wards that they place. They place one to block the big camp bottom, they block two Ancients, so they know exactly what LFY wants to do. Top lane, in flame, getting chased out, the Blood Rage, should be able to connect here. Uh-oh. Easily brought down with that nice kinetic field by Grab it there. Super was looking to head down and try and pick it up for himself. So Super getting that one point of goo now too. So it looks like he does want to try to threaten kills with that night time. And like we like we kind of expected, KP resorts to the jungle because that bottom lane is impossible after a couple after the first few waves. This is the off They're pincering mid, mid. They're going for S Triple C with that point of goo. They should be able to try to chase him down here. The backup though from Kaka, the stun catch still. Just turning around with the raises, bringing Super down though. SCCC will still fall. We'll see if Kaka can get something in return. Roll the roll. Oh, it's gonna be off the mark there. Arfu jukes him, oh. holds him back with the Void Stone. In fact, Kaka, he may go down. The, the tower hitting him. Nice two-man stun, but that extra rotation, really important from DDC, making the move. Since he can just leave the Morphling bottom, he knows Morphs versus nobody. Now alleviates them to be able to put pressure elsewhere with these two supports roaming around. Trying to do something else with this night time here. Spot faith. DDC moving in onto favor the top. We'll be able to glimpse back the Arfu Night Stalker, but he continues to move in. The same time mid lane, SCCC was able to bring down Super once again with the help of Kaka's Earth Spirit. Kaka's just, every time he sees this Bristleback getting it left alone, he makes it play and makes it go. Top lane, Moogie, with TP out. No real disable, as the panel mentioned. That's what LFY is really lacking. There's no the haste rune in the bottle, feeling very confident. Top lane, LFY looking for some action. A newbie are there as a three man. Arfu's coming in with the wraparound. Tried to go not to Mugi, but already the blood right down on the ground. In flame with the self propel. Moving in closer. That's triple C TPing out. with the haste and though. Indeed, here we go. He's ready to fight. Turns towards Arfu. That's going to be the nice dog down almost certainly. To SCC. No, no, he doesn't finish it. Go back and finish that kill, son. There we go. Finally goes back for it. Does take him down. A look at this positioning here. DDC. DDC. Knows, though. Straight up. The smoke just gone. They're going to search up on the high ground. DDC oh. using the trees to his advantage for the ball. Oh, gets back. stunned up. Beautiful kick there from Kaka. Well, hold DDC back. He can grave himself by some time, but there's no one coming in for this Dazzle who's all alone. Will be taken down. Another kill for SCCC. That's because he just has a bit better potential in the jungle early on in comparison to the Bristle. Yeah. He's kept himself in a... Not in an amazing position, but he's certainly not falling too far behind in the fact mid lane. The setup's there with the Thunder Strike. Now looks to close the gap onto Arfu. The slow connects from Kaka as he rolls in. Cola smashes well, and with the kinetic field, Arfu has nowhere to run. SCCC getting another kill set up for him from his teammates. One on lane KP incredibly deep. With the Shadow Blade timing, they could go for something here. SCCC looking to set up with the Shadow Blade. And they get a glimpse. Looking for Super. There's an Omni in the area there with the Dazzle. Look at the Mark, who gets the signs on straight away. They will get the Requiem off and the Boulder Smash onto the Night Stalker. Bursting him down over the ranges. That's one gone. Magnetize from Kaka to connect onto three. Keeps it going there with the stone placement. There's a lot of sustain though coming out between the Dazzle and the Omni Knight, so this will be a lot of stones being used by Kaka. He continues spreading his Keeping it going. I mean, the it's rupture. Keeping it time for Mugi to come in and deal with a rupture. The now, two man stun, it catches yeah, the Omni Knight. Yeah. Means that there's no backup straight away from him. Flame Super left behind. Now with the Glyph back, no, not quite going to be. He with the wraparound has that blink. He's going to be hunting. They know the Inflame's still somewhere in the neighborhood. Now they're going to vision back on him. They have to jump in for KP. Sets up for another. Newbie now leading. Have to offer with all those silences. Starting to get invasive though with that night time. See what they can do. I mean, SCCC on the front of it all. They'll lead in with the void silence upon him as well. They have to dust. Shadow Blade is not going to save him with the static storm. No, it's not enough. Monet has been repelled up. Close to the gap. And SCCC. KP does get the grab, but they've already lost the Shadow Fiend. KP now potentially uh -oh. drops off the poison touch on him. They're surrounding the axe. They will get the glimpse back on Arfu, trying to take this nice talk away from them, but KP's down. Caught out on Arfu. Now Lincoln should be finished up now on the Morphling. But yeah, with Swiss Super getting enabled so much by that Look at this. Ancient Stacks, Afu gets ruptured now. And One the heals are there, the sustain. <laughs> a little glimpse on the rupture, I mean, it's, it's working. Little bits of damage bringing him down low. Fuse Rage Drop will block one bottle, smashes out, doesn't connect onto DDC though. It's the Grave Steel that KP. The dunk comes up with the dunk, the Grave's not gonna save him now. They're looking for more. This magnetized, the Kaka's keeping on going. It's set up for a 
second DDC drops. Moogie getting a good amount of speed boost. KP looking to close it on to Monet. Kaka rolls in, has the get the call. He starts to morph into strength. Do they have the damage to fight through it? It's going to be close. Monet going for the way forward the TP out. Is he going to make it? The roots there. It doesn't matter. He's still out. Will escape now, though. In flames, the one another that he call. KP jumps in, gets the grab. Newbie take another. That's what we're talking about. Slowly on track to become an issue as the game continues. Newbie's trying to continue that pressure, though. Afu actually breaks smoke, but he's going to get glimpsed back. He's going to get brought down here. Yeah, they've got the combo. They, they can go into Roche, too, maybe off of this. But it will get sped up a little bit from that Blood Rage. Yeah, they should get the, I mean, LFY, they don't really have the best heroes to go for any sort of steal unless they just want to waltz in the front of it all. I mean, Super's trying to get the Quill Spray stacks up on the sideline. Bit of a mini glimpse to hold him back. The, the weave is thrown out, though. They actually throw down the Requiem, trying to keep Elefoy at a distance. Limit the damage they can do. KP now with the cool onto the Bristle. They'll back off. They got the Roche, and they get the edges onto the end of SCCC. KP getting on the Static Souls down, though. Now they have to be careful. GA comes out. Super's way too beefy, He's though. He's taken down one with the armor still ticking down from that offensive weave. Kaka looks to be in trouble as well. He tries to roll his way out, but they surround him. Take down the Earth Spirit. Super can just in their aggression on. I love this as well because KP could find a good jump off the back of this AC SCCC giving the vision with the Shadow Blade jump in straight away onto it, playing with the Requiem. Goodbye Omni Knight. Question is, can they get anything more? Offensive Weave comes out onto SCCC and Fave, so they start to back away. Super trying to close the gap upon him. Money on the top, looking towards the act, but the glimpse is there. We could just send back the Night Stalker. Super though continues to move in. The Quill Spray stacks building up. KP again with the call. The Static Storm. Static Storm nice. We will be able to walk Money out of it though. The Kinetic Field does not keep him trapped. As he CC back with the Shadow Blade, seeing if he can get himself back and involved. Golden Smash connects, Dazzles there though with the heal. KP on the side gets the call onto the Night Stalker. Afu gets dunked down. They'll pop the, sh the Shadow Fiend once. He is going to be ready to come back for round two. Super's falling incredibly low here. Super gets taken out, and DDC as well no longer has the mana to pull off the save potential. Here in this game three. They're going to have Silver Edge too, to deal with that bristle back in the further situations. Afu on the hunt. He's actually coming into this one, but there's five heroes here. He's got to be He's all alone. KP jumps in, grabs the Night Stalker. There is backup on the way from LFY. First heal to be popped out onto Afu. Super contemplating about leading into this one, but Kaka just rolls forward, trying to make a go on it. Inflames down below the ground. Just get the magnetize out. Stuns the Omni. Static Storm and Kinetic Field as well, holding Inflame back. He can't do anything. The Grave will come out to Super, but that's already both of the healers out. At the same time, though, Super's manning up, takes down three. KP's still alive, though. Silence on Demonic to hold him out. Because they do have the replicate with the that smoke, so they can always have the Morphin jump in and join the fray. Well, super now, in mid lane there, jumping They've got the Silver Edge. They've got the Blade Mail as well. In with the Silver Edge hit, he is gone. Don't come down a little too early. It doesn't matter. That's super down for 50 seconds. Show himself. He's going oh, in for the, the tower. tower. He's going to try and get himself out of there, and it looks like he will not. But the glimpse. The vision's there for the glimpse. Beautifully played into the tree line, and he will pay for his sins there. Oh, they'll get the scan there. Get they the know that someone's Omni waiting for that bounty rune, but here they go. How are they going to go in on this one? Straight away with the silence into the Berserker's call. That's the Omni down. Anyway, they're trying to close it. Can you have the glimpse up as potential? DDC's trying to make oh, they've space. They've got the Yule set up. That'll be enough with the Kinetic Field down. KP's there as well with the call. That's another for Newbie. As they keep this, this they know, they, he knows that the damage is there for his side. As you said earlier with the SMY, it just continues to this point where he's just has to keep himself alive. If he gets a call. Beautiful little force play. They've got the Silver Edge break hit as well. Can they kill him though? He's down to half health. Back is coming in. The Static Storm. The Geomagnetic Rift. They get the glimpse the too. Glimpse, sending the Omni back, but Super will still survive. Looks like he doesn't need it. Oh, oh God. God. Turning up with the E-Blade. He's nuked down too. Arfu on the side getting chased down by Moogie. Can he survive the Battle Hunger ticket? Oh, Moogie's in trouble. Radiance will get the kill, but money! Triple kill on this small fling. He's I've seen this. Absolutely map it and immediately back in. Still dies very fast with those with that nasal do sticking up. Does KP want to make the big plays? Looking towards it, heading outside of the pit. Takes the sentry down, blood right in again. Boulder smash. This time does connect onto super. It's nighttime, so they have a big advantage with vision right now for LFI. Alfu trying to keep the bay rolling. Goes for Kaka Newbie, looking to start the fight. The BKP comes out from on it, turning towards SCCC. Immediately nukes it down to half. Wait for the high ground. They get the call. The play belt. The static sword. The breed of GA comes out, but says CCC with the Requiem, burst down two, Ball the stun on two, the eggs, the ultra kill for Moogie, it's a team wide, LFY, they hit the decks, Newbie straight into the pit, they'll pick up Roshan, they'll get the ages, they'll get the cheese, 
Oh. Static Storm stopping anyone else from getting and in. And the stun on the so Omni Knight close. again. And then, oh my goodness, and now at the back of it, SCCC has a double damage. Newbie, they're moving down the mid lane. They're going to get the melee ranks. They're going to take the range tracks as well. And now with an 11k gold lead. These they want to maybe try and fight here around the shrine. TDC smoke will dispel. They'll drop the offensive weave. KP jumps forward on the side, trying to catch out our food, flaps his way up. A super coming in with a wrap around the side, like the armor ticking down low at Faith. Pulls the glimmer cave and not enough to survive. He goes down. SCCC gets the Requiem off, but they've lost Disruptor. Moogie falling low as well. Don't pop the cheese. Will survive. Now the magnetize coming out in return, but it's not enough to bring uh -oh. the sound. Newbie have lost two. They've lost the ages on the Shadow Fiend. Their KP jumps in. gets pulled up. Magic got the damage to bring down the small fleet. That's the Money is gone. And now they're moving in for Super. The break hit comes through from SCCC. Bristle back down as well. There's Blade Mail from front the out. He does. Yeah. He's here for this hold. Why some hold is going to have to be from LFY. There's no shrine either for LFY. gets the grab. Does manage to find the morphling though. SCCC's the one up in trouble. Super going straight for in the boulder smash, holding back two. But SCCC down to half back in. He's, he's falling incredibly quickly there with the armor reduction. They'll take the Aegis, Super, Glimpse, just to the side. Can they kill a CCC a second time? BKB comes down immediately. immediately. Newbie disengaging. Next item choice from uh, from the Morphling, from Monet, is going to be Satanic to deal with that Blade Mill. CCC trying to get a hit onto the tower, immediately disarmed. Back up he goes. Look at the tower this time round. So Bright making a beeline straight for a hero. He can kill the Disruptor still super, super easily by himself with just a shotgun. There we, we go, go. coming out. AP, he's gonna be on the front runs in. They do get the Thunder Strike straight away onto the Night Stalker. They stop KP's initiation too. Battle Hunger onto Super, newbie. Reluctant to commit, Afu though. Gonna be dropped down oh. here to Yules as well. He's almost certainly dead there. They'll try and hold back one, but he's gone. KP, looking for the call, but the Waveform away was there from Monet. They've lost one, Monet trying to man up against Moogie. KP coming in, they've got the Bash as well, but the GA's out. Static Storm's down with the BKP, he's already there from Monet. They tried to finish off Moogie, but Moogie swallows the cheese, turns back around, KP's back in as well, with the call onto Monet. The Grave comes out, but it doesn't matter. The Dunk's there from KP. That's Monet down. The Heal Bomb as well, not enough to keep this Bristol alive. Finally falling super, loses his life as well. The pressure here in this bottom lane. That was the cheese though for Moogie. He would have probably dropped in that situation if he didn't have it. But now finishes a full AC for the next the five out KP jumps in, tries to get a call with Money. He zips it off straight away onto SCCC. The dust is out now, they're forcing them back. Onto KP, bringing down the axe, the pipe is out, the force is there, KP survives. And now the bash comes through for Moogie, turning towards Money. Wave falls back up the high ground, but they've lost the Omni Knight. Money's BKP is going to run out soon. The silence kicks in. Money's silence. The back off. He's not going to get out, or is he? The Lakers is there. The silence wears off, but the glimpse is there. And they call GG! Newbie are your first grand finalists here at the International 2017! They put a stop to LFY's unstoppable reign as it seemed here in the upper bracket. Newbie knocking LFY.